this is Chloe Harris for Tab TV and we're here today with the comedian Paul Foot. Hello Paul. Hello Chloe. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. Are you alright? I'm very well, thank oh, you. Oh good. Welcome to Cambridge. Thank you very How much. are you finding it? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's is really yeah. nice. You though studied Maz at Oxford. Yes. How was Oxford? Well Careful. It was <laughs> it was a beautiful place. There were lots of nice meals. I chose mm. my college because it had the best chef who had the best meals in the whole of Oxford. I didn't realise until I actually went there that it was the hardest one to get into to do maths. I didn't know any of that. I just knew that it had the best chef. It was nice. We had all lovely food. Like at lunchtime we would have salmon on papillot and then we'd be things like... We'd all say, oh no, not partridge again. I'm fed up with <laughs> partridge. It was really good, actually. But you studied maths. You yes. definitely don't seem like a typical math mode. I think my life, in a way, has been a voyage from to sort of becoming the opposite of what I used to be. So I now do this very creative, in my opinion, mm. artistic sort of comedy. And maths mm. is all sort of sitting there with working things out logically and being all dull. I would you prefer to be on a TV show, on a sort of panel show, or just to do your own stand-up? Like, supposing someone were to say, oh, you're going to be in a Hollywood film, that would be good news, because I'd enjoy being in a Hollywood film. I love acting, it's all fun, filming, and not only that, but lots more people would come to my shows, so that would be great. But if some theoretical sort of magic genie were to say, you can go in a Hollywood film and you'll be a famous film actor, but you can never go on stage again live, or you can go around live, but only, like, in tiny pubs, getting... £15 a night, almost penniless, just enough money to keep going, I would choose the latter, because that's always my first love. I've always had a sort of strange, sort of almost love-hate relationship with acting, because I always feel in some ways that what I do is acting. In yeah. fact, in some ways I'm... I think, yes, I am a comedian, but there are certain times when... I don't know whether I'm a comedian or not. Sometimes I think I'm not a comedian, but I'm acting the role of Paul Foot, the comedian, for life. Like everything to do with performance, it's full of contradictions. You can't really analyse it too much. Performance is contradiction. It's like when you go on stage, you at once make a tremendous effort, and at the same time, you make no effort. It's at once really difficult, and at, and at the same time, really easy. It's all contradiction. So what advice then would you give to like students in Cambridge or wherever that are thinking of getting into stand-up comedy or trying it out for the first time? Well, the first piece of advice I'd, I'd give is just get going, start it. Often mm. people build their first gig into this big momentous event and then and they delay and delay and they say, oh, well, maybe in a year's time I need to develop more things and all that. I'd just say, get on with it because the first gig is, is important, but it's not that important. Then there's the third gig and the fourth gig and the fifth gig, and it goes on and on, and you just have to keep going at it. And once you've got that first one, it's a bit like losing your virginity. It's this big deal, but once you've done it, you know, it probably yeah. wasn't the best sex ever, but it, you've done it, and then you can just get on with just enjoying it. And the second advice, which sounds trite, but it's the best advice you can give, really, is just to keep going. I did it for about 12 years until mm. my career actually became successful, and I just kept on. Even in the 11th year, when things weren't going that well, I just thought this could be the year when it improves, and it did. So just keep going, and never, ever, ever be bitter. Bitterness yeah. is the enemy of success and of progress. Bitterness is a very good way of staying in exactly the same place you are in your bitter, dissatisfied state. That's my advice.